Alrighty. In the not too distant this... future, uh, somewhere on the moon. <laughs> uh, oh, looks like you have to work on your abs again. Yep. Yeah. Mr. Kazan here was working on his abs to upgrade the sun sword. Wait, why are you? Wait, that's the lamb sword. What? How? I can't tell. How? That's the lamb sword. explaining to do. Yeah, it is the yeah. lamb sword. Yep, it's the lamb sword. <laughs> You you saw this coming, did you? Yes, yes I did. It's like I it's like I already been in this dungeon. Went nope and went back out again and changed the sword. Oh, right. <laughs> Team, yeah, teammate roll, teammate roll, call stray cat. <laughs> Wamu, red, uh, craft work. If you're wondering how Kazan eats and breathes in space, just remember to yourself it's just a game. I should really just relax. <laughs> For Dark Cloud. Dude, that... Where is that? So was that an actual original song or is that from another series? No, in the actual That's introduction. Funny. I was just going to say that, so I'm doing a version of the MST K song. Like, the actual um, the actual lyrics to the series was, if you're wondering how he eats and breathes in other science facts, just remember to yourself, it's just a show, I should really just relax. <laughs> like, those actual lyrics to the series. Oh my god. Also, the uh, Netflix reboot's pretty good, too. I haven't seen that yet. <laughs> I've been meaning to get to it. Patton Oswald plays the son of TV's Mike. <laughs> if you remember that character. Yes, I do. To be fair, a lot of people remember TV's Frank. Frank, I think. Yeah, I think it's TV's Frank. Uh, that that was his. A yeah, Hoyt. That's his actual name. Is TV's uh, TV's Frank. Oh, and then there's these assholes. A Crescent Baron. That's the president oh of the. That's the Baron of the Moon. <laughs> I should have seen this coming. <laughs> I'm gonna keep making these Moon Knight references until we get off the damn moon and get our Gundam. Two oh, yeah. more parts. Two more parts. Oh yeah, how? <laughs> yeah. I, I guess this. This is more just a discussion thing. Uh, I feel like I'm one of the only people who does it, who hates Gundam, but likes the mechs. Like, I, I legitimately have a philosophy of it will pro your anime will probably be a lot better if it had mechs. No politics, just be mechs. Every everything's better with mechs. Yes. You nerd. No, like that's the thing. I don't like the story or the politics of Gundam. I just like the mechs of Gundam. Hell, look at Macross. That's a fucking spaceship that turns on that mech. <laughs> Like, What's it? like I, I don't, I, I love mechs and like designs of mechs, but I don't want, but like the politics of Gundams just doesn't intrigue me at all. And it's like completely the reverse of that in Code Geass. Like uh, in, in Code Geass, like you, you're so, you get so intrigued by the politics and the human part of Code Geass that you forget that it also identifies as a mecha anime. That is very true. I, I do agree with that. It's probably one of the funniest things I noticed while, like, I was so, like, into watching uh, Code Geass that I forgot, oh, yeah, there are Gundams. Like, there are, like, mech battles. <laughs> and the mech battles are actually amazing. Or at least they're really awesome to watch. Very true. Yeah. Code Geass is on my list of stuff I need to... Pick up. How? Because I've been trying. I've watched. I've seen it. I've seen it before. It's just I don't own it, and I've been oh, on this binge oh, recently of buying up some old animes. I mean, I've I, go, I, I go. I go. I go Outlaw Star recently. I go Cowboy oh, Bebop. Outlaw Star is so good. Outlaw Star is really good. I only have seen Code Mint, which is the abridged version of uh, Code Chaos. Surprisingly enough, Code Mint does cover a lot of grounds, but he kind of hasn't. Does. He kind of hasn't been doing a lot of the series. He hasn't kind of been doing it in a while. But then again, yeah. he's been like shit posting. 
That, that is very true. That's actually legit what he did was he changed his channel name to like Purple Fries and Guys or something like that for a little while. It was great. Uh, there was also a video of, of it was like my cat uh, my cat drinking milk from a glass while classic music plays classical music plays in the background. That was an actual video he uploaded, and it, it is a uh, it's exactly what it says. <laughs> like it doesn't lie. How can it lie? It's true, but legitimately, I do I do actually like actually recommend uh, Code Geass like the, the series itself. It's a good, it's a good watch. I would say it's a good read, but uh, Code Geass was an anime before it was a manga. Just don't watch the second series. Hey, hey, hey! No, 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 no! Bad Hal, Bad Hal. Second. No, series. the second, the second series is weaker than the first series. You have to admit it. Uh, it is series. The, the second series. Uh, oh, Code Geass the R, uh, Code Geass R two. It it is. Okay, it is weaker, and they do introduce a lot of characters that all have their own Gyasas, but I still love R2. Despite some of its, uh... Eh. Despite a lot of its uh, weaker moments. We'll, we'll just call them weaker moments. <laughs> and plus, there is always the ending, which is very, like, down the middle with its fanbase, including me. Like, either they really liked it, or they hated it. <laughs> no in between. No in between. Day. It's sort of like the fan base for with, with Superman Returns. <laughs> no, not was it Superman you Returns? I love it or hate it. The the movie before Batman v Superman, or am I thinking? No, You're Man of Steel. Of Man of Steel. No, Superman Returns sucked. Uh, Man of Steel is what I'm thinking of. Either. Oh people... no! Here huh? comes Alexander. Uh, <laughs> forward and back and forward, forward and backward. Like, like I like. There's actually legitimately like Man of Steel is either loved by a lot of people or fucking hated by a lot of people. I'm in the middle for that movie, honestly. The uh, first half was amazing. The second half was not. Oh, you mean the you mean the part where like he freaks out about the fact that he killed someone? Yes. Yeah. Ugh. That was. The I Huh? I don't like the DC movies. Well, you didn't even like Suicide Squad? I like Doctor... No, no I like the did, DC movies. Did you just say Doctor it. Strange? You were no, about to say no, Doctor Strange. No, I was... I fucked... <laughs> uh, I was not. Shut your mouth. Vegeta is my favorite Digimon. <laughs> I remember when Goku obtained his first Pokemon. <laughs> 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 okay, in all seriousness though, Wonder Woman is great. Yeah, Wonder Woman was really good. I was I was gonna say Wonder Woman. It's like why did I say Doctor Strange for a second? <laughs> Wonder Woman Wonder Woman is Doctor Strange good. is a good film. <laughs> I love Doctor Strange. Like holy crap, Doctor Strange is my second favorite uh Marvel movie. No, third, third. It's my third favorite. Sure? Uh, uh, yeah. Cause, yes, I remember when he got his first digi device. Yeah, my my, my favorite, my, actually, my favorite Marvel movie in general is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume One. Ah, yeah, these, that was a good we, one. Look at these assholes on the screen. <laughs> uh, I remember the first time I saw. <laughs> I can't even fucking. Uh, I remember the first time Goku had to... Oh, I remember Goku's first journey to become Hokage. <laughs> he, he, he was trying to find the One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's great. To get the, to get the eight badges of Kanto. Dude, oh. you're gonna fucking die. No, he's not. Yep. Invincibility frames for the win. Invincibility uh. frames for the win. <laughs> Except oh, our crazy. anime. Except yeah, it. The only part of Wonder Woman I didn't like was, like, Ares, but that was about it. Ares was a dick. Well, not that. It was, like, I didn't really like the fact of watching the uh, the werewolf professor from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban being revealed oh. as the villain. Oh, <laughs> not reason. helping is he doesn't transform into Ares. He's still, like, Professor Quirrell. No, not Quirrell. Uh, crap, what's that guy's name? I used to know Lupin. it off the... Lupin. Pearl? Thank you. Lupin. Yeah, it's Lupin. It's, I said Lupin. Oh, uh, I know what you're talking about, because, uh... He's just you know that... Lupin in Ares' armor. 
Yeah, I, I get the same feeling with Emma Watson. I don't see Emma Watson, I see Hermione. Yeah, well... And that's that, that's my feel. That Those are my thoughts for uh, Beauty and the Beast live action. Or That was, I mean, to be fair, like, if it wasn't for Lady in the Black, I would still only see Daniel Radcliffe uh, as Harry Potter. But with uh, The Woman in Black, that's honestly one of my favorite movies starring him. Oh, yeah, true. And it's actually, like, really entertaining. Well, like, it, it actually has legitimate suspense, and it actually creeped me out, unlike a lot of really bad horror movies. <laughs> the Conjuring! Ooh. Ooh, that was a... Ooh, nice scratch in my throat there. <laughs> <laughs> what hell? What? I was like, I, I don't like The Conjuring. <laughs> I think that's, that's a good way to establish that. And the and the world goes silent. And the thunderbolt <laughs> gets more powerful. Ooh. Uh, that's the face of a nihilist. How, how, right how do you how do you like do you like the Conjuring? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just a simple no. Like, no. No. <laughs> good, 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 because I don't either. I wonder if your character up there just continues to smile every single day. Oh, you're getting rid of the see? lamb sword? No yeah, more lamb see, sword. The lamb sword. Whoa! Now it's its own little uh. Synth synth sphere. sphere. No, no, its pillows get added to the sun. No, put it in the dagger. Wait, the sun? Is it gonna be a filler? It's a filler arc weapon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, that was good. Yeah. Uh, that was, this is the, this is the part where. Uh, this is the part where Goku saves the ramen restaurant mm -hmm. from, from evil the, ninjas. From the wrath of Dio. <laughs> <laughs> On his way to search for the One Piece. <laughs> that was great. Uh, that was just great. You almost said Doctor Strange. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> uh, did you ever see uh, the... Uh, Hal, did you ever see the Graham Norton interview with like Benedict Cumberbatch and he find out he couldn't say Penguin right? <laughs> <laughs> he called them penguins. Oh. <laughs> Great. I didn't know that. Shit. Yeah, well, he like, he he did the voice for a uh, a doc uh, I think a documentary and he called the penguins penguins. It, it was it was it was it was a funny ass interview. <laughs> penguins. <laughs> penguins. Penguins. <laughs> Dude, one of these days Disney will own DC. And Disney will own everything. Disney will own Square. Dude. That would be my that would be my worst nightmare. Disney owning Square. Not like, dude. Like, I'm just thinking. Like, what if Disney owned the DC universe? Those that's that universe would actually have good movies. Oh, ouch. Yeah. Yeah, but then they'll have symbolism of magic, and I don't want Sora to go into a DC universe with him like talking about Thanos. Yes, but would you rather? <laughs> Yes, but would you rather have good movie? Would you rather have good movies, or would you rather have that new Teen Titans live action series? Oh no! Fuck no. Batman, no. or would you rather have fuck no. Batman? No. <laughs> I think that fa I think that series bombed. I, I think it already bombed if it hasn't come out yet. Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, Gotham uh, bombed. Yeah, actually, Gotham, the Gotham got five series. <laughs> Gotham, that, from what I heard, isn't four bad. Mo that's four more series than I thought it would have. I mean, I heard, I heard Gotham wasn't bad, but I wasn't interested in it. Yeah. They did a lot of good stuff with some of the, re the rest of them. Um, I know The Flash and Green Arrow were pretty good series for at least the first couple of seasons. That's true. It's like what, they don't have the budget to make it into a movie. And then yeah. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was okay. Mm-hmm. Meh. Nah. I, I, I still would rather just go watch all the other movies. Uh, that is true. I will say though, the 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 Marvel movies that came out this year have all been pretty consistently good. Well, that's because yeah. it's all that's that's because it's all Avengers stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, Black Panther. I I actually like Black Panther a lot. Okay, except for Black Panther. Like. Legitimately, Black Panther is is it. I liked it a lot. A lot. Like I know we, you and I, Hal, like Hal and I know like a few people that are like, yeah, Black Panther left a bad taste in my mouth. I don't I understand mean, why, because it was really good. Yeah. It could be because of the "What's That" meme. No, 
There's a bit of con- there's a bit of controversy about that's, that. That's that's not yeah. that's not the controversial part of it. We're not going to talk about that here because we don't want to we don't want to bring up the the, the yeah you know <laughs> the thing. Yeah, and that's... you're dead. Ooh. I'm dead. Kazan is nearly destroyed. Come on, use your stand. Use your stand. Run, 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 run! <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Use that revival powder. Near death. Na- <laughs> nice try, my friend. Nice try. You see, your friend here is only mostly dead. <laughs> you see, there's a difference between being mostly dead. Mostly dead. <laughs> and all dead. Please open his mouth. <laughs> Dude, The Princess Bride's a great movie. Yeah, it has its good. It has its great moments, dude. That dude, that movie like had a lot of that. That movie was like the spawn of movie quotes. I never realized I was like quoting from. All I remember is the poison scene. That's that, that. That's the best part, in my opinion. The uh, inconceivable. Oh. <laughs> uh, he just laughs, stares for a bit, and just falls over. <laughs> falls over stiff. Or, uh, or on, dude, Andre the Giant was like probably one of my favorite characters in that movie. Oh, Andre's amazing. Holy crap! Yep. yep. Those, that stat boost. That right. maxed out all your stats. Yep. Aww. <laughs> it's only gonna lower it, so. Yeah, you better build up those abs. Well, he has to max out the sit-ups every day. That means he's got to max out the abs on the sun sword. (laughs) Sit-ups over and over. Dude. To be fair, my my sun sword is kind of OP as a ass. Like, what what does it do? (laughs) What does it actually do? What's its... Is it just really, really strong? It's really, really strong. (laughs) It started really, really strong, and then it got even stronger as I kept adding to it. Oh my gosh. (laughs) That was great. I will say, though, I think the highlight of this entire series so far, though, has been, uh, was the time that Hal attempted to to end a part, or say, see you next time, and we still had a minute left of that recording. And there was still a minute (laughs) left in that video. Probably one of the best parts of this. Tried to, he tried to leave early, that prick. <laughs> like he, like he, ch- you, you tried, but. <laughs> well, was... I totally forgot that was like a minute left. Yeah, it was great. I, that was the bit that I said. See you next time. Genuinely felt like the end of the video. I didn't it realize did. it was another minute. Like it did, but holy crap, was it hilarious nonetheless. You know, I keep expecting the water to refill your weapon meter, but it doesn't. Damn, that damage. Smash. Oh, I didn't even kill him. How dare you. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, also I think Avengers 4 comes out next year, I believe. Yes, yep. I thought it was uh, Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel. It's a uh, Captain Marvel comes out first, and then which I believe is a prequel film. It is a prequel film. That way, they explain why she's not in the actual movie. To be it's fair, set in, huh? it's set in my stomping ground of the nineteen nineties. Oh wow! <laughs> um, also, uh, I mean, hell, Ant Man and Wasp has to make like you have to make sure you, they have to make sure you know. Why uh, Ant Man wasn't in uh, wasn't in Infinity War? Besides, besides art, you should already have known the fact of that he was under house arrest along with Hawkeye. To be fair, that was a good reveal at the very very end of the fall. Oh, it was a good cliff. It was a really good cliffhanger. And it all it, it it does give us a good explanation, but it's still the fact of that it left us a cliffhanger for the end. <laughs> a massive cliffhanger at that too. Also, one of my favorite pictures ever, it's like, when you're, it's like the, the Avenger, like, uh, how easy Thanos could have lost if, uh, Ant-Man went inside Thanos' butt and expanded. <laughs> That's gross. It's gross, but it's it would have gotten gross. the job, it's gross, but it, it would have gotten the job done. Is that this is. really what we're going to use the part on now? Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Imagine Why? now, Ant-Man 
Like, I mean, that's what I mean. That's why he couldn't do that trick at the end of Ant Man and the Wasp. <laughs> <laughs> He's still. Uh... So, in the next part, we'll discuss more of butt physics. In the next part, Gundam building. <laughs> Gundam building and physics of expanding in someone's anus.